Unknown Warriors, back with another episode of Bigger Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. I'm sitting here in the parking lot waiting to go into a store, but I figured I got about 10 minutes, and now that I'm doing 10-minute ones, I get to kind of put those out a little faster, so I'm going to actually do one here. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys enjoyed the last video that we talked about. Um, I'm going to go focus on it before I do that for, obviously... Please, uh, and I appreciate all the great, uh, you know, uh, comments, likes, donations. I'm going to put a few more shout outs out. Let me kind of look at this list, see if there's anybody else that I missed talking about a little bit that had a specific comment here. But, um, oh, Steve Renko, 398 days. Good job, my friend. Keep it up, warrior. And then, uh, Bill, we all relapse at times. Keep going, my friend. Don't ever give up. Keep on the balance. And once again, we talk about this. We'll talk about today because we'll talk about semen retention, semen as being the blood. Eduardo, Eduardo made a good comment on the blood revitalizing the body. And we want to kind of focus on that, but keep going because you want to keep doing this. Yes, you know, there's times where you're going to relapse. There's times you're going to go back to it. There's times that you know it, but you know down in your heart that this is, feels good. And so, yes, life is a balance. Life is moderation. However, in this case, you need to kind of use that moderation and do a lot of other things besides chasing women around and trying to release all the time. Um, oh, hermetic principles, two blunt chalk. I will look those up. I don't really know a lot of those, so I'm not really using those. I may be using them, not realizing it, but I will look those up, so thank you. All right, so anyway. Uh, let's go to the topic here. The topic is going to uh, Eduardo. Shout out to you, my friend. A great comment. He says, semen is the divine blood that revitalizes the body. So let's talk about this a little bit. So when we look at uh, how blood works, and we look at blood, we look at seeing how blood has to circulate through your system. Now, there's the blood itself you need to run your body. So from a physical standpoint, you need the blood to run the body. And so if you lose blood, you're going to probably pass out if it's too much blood. And so you need to kind of get that blood revitalized through your system. The semen, from my understanding, helps work with your body and keeps those nutrients together to keep you intact. So just like blood, if you're losing a lot of blood, if you're losing a lot of semen, then it makes perfect sense that you're not gonna be 100%. And this is the whole analogy I always make with this, that why this makes sense when you think about this. There is a connection with blood and semen. And because of that then, there's a connection obviously with loss of blood and how that affects the body and a loss of semen. And so if you think about it just naturally, you realize, as I said in another video recently, that the semen is so powerful, you're it is so powerful that you can create a child with it. And if you think about that really carefully, you know that this is powerful stuff you have. God would not give you. This is why we call, this is why Eduardo is calling it a divine, a divine blood. That it's going to revitalize yourself. So if you infuse yourself and you have low blood count and you infuse yourself with blood, you're going to be revitalized. The same thing with semen. This is why when people go on a streak, the first 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, you feel unbelievable. And then you continue feeling unbelievable because you're in a different state. I'm at like 952, 53 days or whatever it might be. And I feel better every day. I feel less anxious. I feel um, more healthier. I look healthier than I've been in the past. I have more attraction, more clarity and focus on things I'm doing, more people who want to talk with me and interact with me. All those things happen for a reason. And it makes sense from a physiological standpoint to realize that your body is needs all the things in it that God has given you. And that just makes perfect sense. From a logical standpoint, if you take anything from anybody they're not going to be that person. If you take someone's leg and cut it off, that person's not a whole person. So wouldn't it make sense that if God gives you this, then you basically want to keep it as long as you can. Now, obviously, 
people will come back and push back on me and say, oh, well, you know, uh, that's not healthy or you're not living life because you're not releasing. Well, I did that for years, my friend. So I understand that that's a bunch of, in my mind, that's a bunch of nonsense. In my mind, what I've experienced over the last 950 days is incredible. And what I've experienced is the fact that I feel the best I've ever felt. And as far as attraction goes, you know, um, no one used to talk with me. No one used to have the types of interactions that I have now. And I'm a married guy. I'm 61 years old. And it's amazing. The, the young girls at 20, 25 years old flirting with someone 61 years old. It's got nothing to do with age, my friend. What I found, it's got something to do with the energy level that they sense. And they sense the man on purpose, and they sense that you have that. And if you have that, it doesn't matter if you're 90 years old, 70 years old, 60 years old. Now, of course, it may not lead to anything, and we talked about this in the last video, that to me, this is just a nice, um, maybe boost to the ego a little bit, and saying, okay, this stuff is working. But it reinforces me that this stuff works. And this is why we talk about that blood. We talk about the scene. It's, it's a vital force in your system. And I can't emphasize that enough in my opinion. That's a vital force. And if you get, if you lose this vital force, it's going to come back to affect you. It just makes common sense. Even if you don't have any scientific knowledge and background, it makes common sense that God has given you all of this as your temple. If you start throwing away parts of your temple, you're not going to be a whole person. You're going to be 80% of yourself, 70% of yourself. And you may think because you're younger, you're going to be able to capture it all back. But the thing is, is that you don't want to lose any of your energy. Unless your purpose is to procreate. Which I believe God, that's the reason he gave us that ability. But the fact that men have to be strong... They have to provide, they have to protect their communities, their families, the world. They need to have this vital bloodline semen within themselves. And this is why we talk about semen and Edwards exactly correct. I agree with them 100% on this. That it is a divine force that revitalizes yourself. You won't realize until you're you're transmuting. And I guess we just got a couple of new quotes that I'll kind of use next week. But um, someone mentioned this a perfect uh, example that if you're uh, not transmuting, that's the problem. That means you've got to get up and do things. You can't just sit around saying, okay, well, I'm retaining, but nothing's happening. Well, that's not, and, and no girls are talking to me. That's not really the approach we should be taking. We should be taking the approach with, we don't care if women are talking to us. We don't care if women are paying attention because we're doing the things we got to do. You're doing the things to make yourself a, a valuable person in this community, in this, in this society. You're doing yourself to become a masculine man who can actually provide and to, to be a tough-minded individual that can get things done in this world and serve God's purpose. The women will come along. The women will be there. Don't worry about that because they will see a man who is on a purpose. And they will see you as someone that they want. Now, you have to make the choices about who you want, but that's a different type of discussion. But don't, don't you know, if it doesn't happen, just keep moving along. Not every girl is going to be attracted to you. Not every girl is going to feel the energy for whatever reason. And those type of things happen. So it's not something to kind of say, okay, well, I'm doing retention because I want girls to get attracted. That should be the last reason that you want to do a, a, a retention. The primary reason you want to do attention is for your own uh, benefit to make yourself self-control, self-discipline, the best man you can become. And that man then is going to serve the Lord in the best way possible. Because you're disciplined. You're listening to God. You're not listening to your temptations. You're avoiding the flirtations. You're avoiding all those things that are going to make you less of a man. And we go back to this, my friend, and my full opinion of this, after all these years of be releasing, 
at in the middle of times, different times. I'm going to tell you, in my opinion at least, my opinion, that this is the best thing to make a man strong. And and so when he when when coaches tell players don't have sex before having events, Mike Tyson goes five years without doing it. Malcolm X twelve years. There's a reason these people became famous and became and Mike Tyson an animal. Because if you transmute that and you put it into boxing or you put it into preaching or whatever you might put it into, that changes and now that energy becomes a force. Not just sitting there. Remember, a difference between potential energy when it sits in your body and you're not transmuting and kinetic energy when you're moving. So I'll probably do some more on this on kinetic energy and transmuting because uh, uh, some people have written and said, well, they don't see anything happening and those things. And that's probably true if you're not transmuting. You've got to try to transmute. And so a lot of us make the mistake that, okay, it's great the retention, but as many people said, that's not the only thing. You've got to try to transmute this. You've got to improve yourself. You've got to do other things to make yourself better. It starts, in my viewpoint, with retention, but it doesn't end there. You've got to, just because you're doing retention doesn't mean you're going to have all these great things happen. You've got to also have the mindset of retention, of self-discipline, and achieving goals that you want to have. And I guarantee you at that point, you're going to find all those other benefits come pretty easily. All right, my friends, until next time, God bless you guys. Remember, every day is a new day to a great warrior. So in words of Vigor Warriors 2, battle on!